It's Roller Pony. Oh, I wonder and, if EMG uh, has a hand with that because it's at the same venue as where they had the monthly. Right. It. it yeah. It, it looks like it is. Cause this is a. Uh, yeah, it's on the other side of the building. Yeah, the yeah. Same, uh, venue. That is that is true. But uh, we are getting into that is not 101. This is uh, game one, grand finals. MG Mar. You know, yeah, couple sir. couple guys making a couple big upsets against the uh, the floaty demon. Yeah, Faust had knocked out a bit early. So. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's it's man. So many sets have been such nail biters. It wasn't just that one. I mean, yeah. What else been, is there? Amp versus Faust was like pretty tight. A, right, very respectable. Uh, Amp and I had a, a game three last talk. Yeah, that was um, the ending was uh, tragic. <laughs> Spaghetti. It was uh, entertaining <laughs> to uh, say the least. <laughs> and then the end of MG and Amp. Yeah. I oh mean, yeah, that was down to the wire for once. Oh my god, it's just the stupidest knee to close the, the set out. Yup, the nair knee. <laughs> I always talk about how floaties get so cheesed by Falcon, like nair knee. They, they, they <laughs> do. Like, um, like, uh, I had this one uh, combo video, like one of my home videos, and I was trying to look at my Falcon combos on Jam Run, and a lot of them oh. were just like nair knee. And I'm like, oh god. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, people say that that uh, Faust likes to say that that Falcon is to to floaties. What Marth is the fast fall is. Yep. Yeah. They just he just melts them. Yeah, like kind of oppressive combos and like yeah, can just kill early a lot of times. Just so. a lot. I mean and we just saw a very early curl from Marth a second ago. <laughs> yep. Classic <laughs> can combo. Looking for it again maybe. Yep. Oh the call out on a firefox. The That's oh and there's the pal can combo. You we can see it a lot more. Oh <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. It, the man is out for blood. He says it is eleven fifteen. I need to go though. Fuck home. Yep. Uh, but but MG, you know, has something to say about that. Maybe he's having a good time. Maybe he wants to to stick it out for another hour or two. Yep. Cause yeah, last set they started uh, stadium, I think. Uh, I couldn't tell you. That yeah. I think they started there, and I think MG ran it back. What? Sure. Whatever. Yeah, I might be wrong though. I think I think they. Uh, I think game one might not have been, but games two and, two and three, three for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it might um, might be the same uh, stage rotation, then like battlefield, and then two stadiums or something. Yeah. I mean, I guess we'll see. Cause yeah, Mar went up one zero. We'll see if uh, if stadium makes a return. Yep. Yep. Up oh, stadium. Yeah. It looks like we're we're deja vu over here. Yep. Yep. And yeah, I know there's uh, people in chat that were disagreeing last time, but uh, I don't know. I think. Uh, any of the stages for comfort as Fox versus Marth, I think it's fine as long as they're not like picking up DP. I think the rest are like. Yeah, I know that makes sense. There's a lot of there's pros and cons to them all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think Stadium's fine, though definitely like worse without the transformations. But still. yeah, I mean, I, I, I think I think we can we can give everybody other than Fox that one. Yeah. I mean, this this day, oh, <laughs> stage is so good for Fox as long as you don't side B into the abyss. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man, what do, you, what do you think the GF stands for? I thought it was girlfriend, honestly. Could be gluten-free. <laughs> Maybe. Could be greasy farts. Ooh. Maybe he's, he's broadcasting his, uh, his out-of-game strategy. That's some Mike Hayes rule type beats. <laughs> you know? I mean, Mar doesn't look happy, so maybe maybe Grand Finals. Yep. Might have been like on the path to Grand Finals. He, he had this tag on for a couple sets back. Yeah. I think since he was a loser, so I think he started running that tag. I might be wrong, though. Yeah. You're probably right. So, not positive. And yeah, Mar always looks mad <laughs> when he's playing, or especially when he's playing. Yeah, it could be. It could be Go Fox. <laughs> it could be Go Falcon. But yeah, see, it doesn't really help at all. Go Falcon. But what does help is up smash. That moves pretty good, man. Indeed. Kill that. Uh, God, what was that? Like 89 before the hit or something? Wow. It's, I don't know. It oh, kills so it for sense I've never seen. It, so. Demonically early. Uh, it's uh, it's just upsetting, man. Like I, I'll hit like an up air at like 120, and they go nowhere. <laughs> Not kill you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah, I was gonna say that. Oh man, that sucks that uh, M MG managed to like corner Mar and he like drilled him, but then uh, Mar jumped, happened to jump like last moment, so he got out of like the hit stun and just like rolled out. So MG couldn't get a follow off it. Yeah, no, Mar uh, is really 
getting good. Yeah. He's really been clutching up. Yep, 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 yep. Not dropping the ball as hard. Not at all. That's good. He's been like, whenever he has the time, he's usually like doing like quad review. Like that, that, he does have that old uh, unemployed play style. Yep. yep. <laughs> unemployed work ethic. Yep. Yeah, because. Yeah, he got uh, he got a job for a bit and then got fired. So he's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got the time of the day. Yep, so he's back to doing. It. <laughs> That's, I mean, worse things to do than, and I mean, this is like this is what two hundred bucks a week for him. We wouldn't have other way. Yeah, exactly. That's. Yeah, that's a solid amount. It's like, yeah. I mean, he's also getting ready because, and that's not even with monthly stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, there's other tournaments. Um, and with uh, with Faust, you know, taking his three month trip to the middle of nowhere in a couple weeks. Oh, is he going back to like Peterborough? Or something? He, no, he's he's going on a camping trip in oh. uh, the Northwest Territories. Oh God! He's he, it's he's he's uh, leading this ex uh, ex expedition with another guy, and they're taking 10 18 year olds. Yeah. And they're not going to see any other person for like two and a half months. Holy shit. Yeah, it's just going to be the dozen of them. Yeah, he's going to like probably be the most enlightened player ever when he's back. Yeah, I I don't... Well, there's a funny thing that happens. He, he has done trips like this in previous summers. And every summer he comes back way better. Yeah. It's kind of fucked up. Again, the whole like palate cleanse or something. Like palate yeah, I, yeah, maybe. Maybe it's all about that physical exertion, that exercise. Or maybe he just sits there and he's got nobody to talk to, so he just thinks about Jacob the Park. <laughs> Thinking about his like past sets being like, huh? I kind of believe it. <laughs> All right, you know, uh, that was looking scary for a second. I thought MG might be making her. Oh, sky commentator's curse there. Nope. Uh, looks like MG trying to make a repeat of their winner set. <laughs> yes, like Jeez. almost playing the same direction right now. Unless if uh, oh, nice short to sneak around that uh, that jab. So uh, MG started, jumped and started that side B from so close that actually Marcus Downfield could have covered the whole, the whole thing. With like relatively like lazy timing, he could have probably just covered it. Oh, gets shield poked by the upbeat. Yup. Watch them feet. Man, shield, getting shield poked, I forget it happens because I play Yoshi. Yeah. And then every time I play in a secondary and I get shield poked, I feel, I feel so ripped off. <laughs> You know, it, it's one of the few silver linings of playing this stupid character. <laughs> it's true. It really is. Because <laughs> it's like, I mean, I was talking to, to Mar earlier today um, about Marth, because I, I, I'm i going to tip off. I have a Marth in my bracket. Yeah. Uh, I said, and I have Fro. Fro oh, 116, okay. who's an F Smash monster. Yep. And I was saying, man, how do you deal with, with F Smash as Yoshi? I can't, like, run up shields. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. Like, what the fuck do I do? Yep. You know, but, but yeah, who uh, better to ask <laughs> than, than Mark? Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, he's been farming me for the past, I guess, a year now. So. Hey, there you go. He's doing the question. What is the question? <laughs> oh, yeah, throw away. Um, man. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, <laughs> when I when I was degening netplay like mid 2022, then. Uh, I did, I did. I did win with like Young Link on unranked a few times, but he's uh, looking at the nightclub tournaments. It looks like he's a lot better than than, than back then. So. Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> but he still plays the same way, man. Yeah, where he just kind of like stands there and like and, forward and just smashes. smashes. Yeah, it's like really slow. Yeah, but it but it works. Yeah. It's scary. It was like when I was playing Young Link at that time, I'd uh, like you know just throw things at him a lot. But he was he was good at power shielding, but then also like. There's this jank that you can do with Young Link particularly where you throw the bomb like in front of them so it like blows up beside them. Yeah. So you can't power shield it, so I'm like, yeah. Fair. Uh man, Mike Mike's really taking this this stock uh, far. Dude, I mean, again. 160 up to three stocks to one. Yeah, Looks like we might be you know, shades of uh, of, of their winner set. This is going to game five months ago. That is Yeah, Mar skipped skipped out on FD entirely this time too. Well he's scared of the Falcon is the issue. Yeah, because he was very close with, against the Falcon last set. Yeah, I just don't think he wants to risk it. I think he feels more comfortable. Yeah. He also doesn't, I, I think, doesn't want that that pace change. Yeah. The momentum swing of having to play that Falcon and potentially lose it and then readjust to the Fox afterwards. Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. Yeah, getting used to, like, throw timings, like, moving out of, like, up throw yeah, can, like, make a difference because of uh, about the weight difference. Yeah. Between but I also think that people, people always say that it's hard to switch characters in bracket, yeah. but a lot of the time I think it's harder to switch the matchup you're playing against. 
That's what um, Rain Rain X <laughs> could often say how uh, how the opponents uh, running away from running away from them by switching by them yeah them switching characters. No, it it, it What's up? well because you you have you end up having to like reacclimate how this person's gonna play like their crusty secondaries. Yeah, exactly. You know. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Like readjusting like combos, like uh, yeah, like your whole like neutral mind, like mindset on neutral as well. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you play a character like like Marth, who has to play matchups pretty differently. Yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, with Fox, it's just like hey, he's gonna yeah. do Fox stuff. I think that's why like Falco is one of like the easiest um, for um, when opponents change characters because it's, it's like game plan kind of is like the almost same. universal. Yeah, he for, shoots, like, almost he shoots every the gun. He hits there. He hits shine. Yeah, because like your, it's like your combo game slightly changes a bit, and then you kind of readjust slightly for the opponent's ranges. But like your game plan is kind of the same, but it's just like tweaked a little for the character's like range of their moves, basically. <laughs> True. <Do you> have, <laughs> it's like really all. <laughs> do you have any bets on who's who's taking this one? What are you thinking? What are you feeling right now? Who's winning this? Who's uh, winning this game? Man, because Mars and winners, he's gonna lose. <laughs> that seems to be how this works. <laughs> because uh, I want. Oh. Because Especially I want to go happens. home too, then uh, yeah, you know, we're, you're we're never going, gonna get what you want. We're going the whole nine yards. <laughs> uh, I'm down for a set two at this point, though. I mean, you, we know we're already in here. We're already in for a penny, you know. Yep, and it's been a good set so far. So it has been. Yeah, definitely down for more. Woo! He's, oh, I <laughs> thought was, he was living. That but. was big. Yeah, oh! oh! Speaking of big, man. Yep, the that's, FUD. <laughs> that's the last thing you want to see. Yep, game the five. FUD curvature putting oh him underneath the stage, too, so he got stumped barely. Oh, damn. Because if he was on FD and got shined like that, he would have lived probably still. But. Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> God, and that's yep. a quick one. We're getting the reset. Indeed. Mar l falling 2 3 to MG. Indeed. And our stream overlay falling to technology. Give me a second. We're gonna get a boot it back up. We'll web socket connection. All right, they've swapped ports for set two. Okay. So we're gonna flip those names. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. And uh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Switch ports. Um. Oh yeah. I guess Mar probably wants the the the. The, the the numerically higher but lower port. Yeah. I hate that shit, man. <laughs> it's like, what am I supposed to call it? it nobody knows. Yeah, I know, right? Because <laughs> it, it is the higher port, but it feels like the lower port. Yeah, In exactly. priority, it's lower. Yeah, I usually say, like, higher port priority. You know, it sounds like such a mouthful to say, but I'm like, ah, it's, it explains it, yeah, <laughs> I yeah. guess. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, I guess trading off uh, the extra frame of up throw versus... Uh, you know the shit like tying on grab, tying versus grabs and all that. I feel like, I guess it is a chain grab matchup. But outside of chain grab matchups, I feel like it's not that impactful. Yeah, exactly. And the, I, I guess Marth's cheek, they always like to say. Yeah, I think I think it's actually better to be the lower number port as Fox, because uh, <laughs> it said lower number, it said lower priority. <laughs> I yeah. like I like right port and left port. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Being the right port as Fox, I think might be better. I think the extra frame of the up throw, like, yeah. I think makes like a big like a pretty sizable difference to like not have Mark sometimes escape like your up throw upper. And, like See, percents that matter. As as Yoshi, I like your left port a lot sometimes. Yeah. In in the non cheek matchup, uh, because you get priority grabbing ledge, and so sometimes yeah. you, you armor three stuff to grab ledge. That makes sense. Oh, that's like, um, shoot. It was a set, uh, EGLX 2018. Oh my god. Right. That was. That uh, is such uh, a tragic death. That's so unfortunate. He looked so good there. The ceiling tech, so he's just completely boned because of that. Oh my lord. Man, it just. Sometimes the melee deaths are just like tragedies of inches, man. Yep. <laughs> it's just like, he had the right idea. He was so close. Yep, but yep. it's just that little piece he didn't have together. Yeah, Mar's still with a fat lead. Um, well, that shine worked since uh, Mar died away. Because I was gonna say he could have like probably threatened like dash attack into shine or dash attack into up tilt if Mar died in. I mean, sometimes really bad ideas are good ideas if your opponent does the wrong thing. So. <laughs> exactly. He shined him off and he went like full like off like so far up. But MG dropped the edge guard though, so it's like. All right. Yeah. This oh, is... that's free. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Forty-three is not too bad though, man. 
Yeah, very, very, very doable. Oh, uh, as long as you don't jump into a. He's got no jump. Oh no, he does. Yeah, he landed, he landed on the platform. Oh, that is a huge throw. Oh, yep. Oh, Even with, oh no. Even with that really shit DI. He's that is. Flip. <laughs> oh, that's got a sting if you are Mar. Yep. Oh. He, he di just barely well enough, <laughs> but it was like bad di, but it was like just oh. fine enough that he like survived. He was so close. I wonder. I I mean he really didn't have another option. I guess he just had to go for it. Yep. Oh man. So. Oh my god. I don't know if you ever see me do like uh, like hitting people with Fox's shine from the ledge while the other guys on stage. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I just saw a chance for MG to do it. So I was like, why did he do it? I'm like, wait, no one does it. <laughs> <laughs> Except me, so never mind. That's funny. <laughs> no, I stole it from Zelgatis, like, like fucking like 2004 or something. So. <laughs> sure. The you know, line combo was <laughs> way back tonight. Right. What that was new. <laughs> I uh, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but only you and Jacob, Jakob and Jacob, have ever won in Bing, right? Like it's surprising that Mike hasn't won a local yet. And I was like, oh, it's because like some of his matchups are kind of weird that make it like pretty unlikely for him to win, given like how seeding works and stuff. And I was like, I did the math, I crunched the numbers, if he's like 90% likely to win his winner's quarters match, and 50% chance to beat Jacob, and probably like a 15% chance to beat me based on how our sets had gone in the past few, like six months, then he has a 1% chance of winning the tournament from the winners. Oh, shit. And this is, this is the 1%. I mean, he's he, been loser, at least. But... So now, uh, now he has a shot. <laughs> That's yeah. actually really funny that I mean, this guy might have like a sub 1% like lottery ticket right now. Dude, these sets have all been crazy. They've been like all a bunch of really competitive sets that have just where games have just there. been ending in the stupidest ways yeah. this whole day. Dude, I'm certain that that uh, that upsell would have killed. I mean, up here. Like, last game. like almost all of them have gone last game. Yeah. Oh. But That's huge. Oh, he could have uh, shined him like really free. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, he'll, yeah live, gotta, he'll live. He'll live. He'll live. He'll live. Just take yeah. that. I mean, he could have gone out there. Yeah. Yeah. He he had, had, uh, you can't hesitate in those moments, especially when you're down. Yeah, he had a especially very free kill like, after the counter. Like you can kind of do that pretty risk free. Yeah. Well, you know he doesn't have a jump. He has to. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's close to out here, but like that's a good extra. percent lead. Yeah, it's like if you're above, uh, I think it's 25 as Fox, so you can like SDI the counter up and get a chance to side B. But um, that's so unlucky. Uh oh, oh! Yo, that's oh. a that's a port the port shit I was talking about. We missed that up throw up here. Man, Mike is so good at making you do sh stupid shit like that. And no, he he won a game four against me. Yeah. And then after that, they both won. Ah, okay, okay. He really is. Oh my god. Where he's overextending really hard, uh, but for the most part, he's like not doing the really stupid MP stuff. Where he like will just throw himself off stage and get reversals for him. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you know, <laughs> this, this could be really interesting though, because this really, you know, the, 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 the oh. season's nomenclature really, really feeling real. Because last season was only Faust and Marwins. And then this season, looking like it might not be either of you guys so far. <laughs> yeah, too interesting. I'll, 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 win the one I'll win the one next week and then drive off into the sunset. Yeah, <laughs> so you <laughs> think? No, next week I got it. Next week you got it. I'm coming. I'm coming prepared. Next week he got it. Hold on. I, I'm coming back with hate in my heart. <laughs> Earlier, but yeah. it was just like, dude, you keep losing in the fucking weirdest ways on Thank the right you. side of Fountain of Dreams. Yeah, dude, <laughs> I mean, is that where I lost to, to Amp too? To Mike, Amp, and Amp, yeah. Those were the stupidest set in it. Yeah. Yeah, for me it was the left side, so, <laughs> so it's opposite. That, uh, Carter, he's scared to go to FD. He doesn't want to go to FD because he'll get counterpicked Falcon. Which he should do, but he's... I he's, agree. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. I think he should be... The pretty sure he had the lead, like, most of that game and kind of dropped it at the end, so... Get up attack is an interesting way to hit guard guard. Uh, it's the 
Yep. Oh, that's good. Um, the, th the funny thing is, I think I think that, that Mar is struggles with Falcon in general just because he's such a risk-averse player who's trying to, like, problem-solve all this stuff. And sometimes Falcon's just too fast and he hits you. Yep. And, and if he hits you, you die. And so I, I think it's kind of the same kind of issue that, that, that Ginger has with Falcon, actually. Where if you are trying to solve it and yep. really play procedurally and methodically against that character and are, are too scared to take risks, when the risks net you huge rewards also, you just you, you, you get outpaced. Because you get hit by one stupid thing and you lose. Yeah, exactly. I think Jacob plays too much in uh, like zone four. Like he plays into the places where Falcon can hit him pretty consistently. Yeah, too far away. Or like not quite close enough. Yeah. You know? Yeah, where you're like you can't really hit him either, like as yeah. the Mark. Like where you can't really hit him. You but can't like react Falcon to him. Set up his like nair and stuff. Yeah, and you like can't react to him because you're like awkwardly too close, but then you also like can't reach him either. Next week I'll bring the other set of hands. Oh, yeah, we yeah. have three. We might yeah. as well use them. I'm, I'm, I'm like pointing okay, nice. my headphones over at Yaka to uh, yeah. yell into the microphone. <laughs> yeah, earlier Prince was asking oh, if there was three. Uh, <laughs> there are three. There's another one in the basement. We just don't have it up here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just because there's not a ton of space up here, uh, and we yeah. have it for bigger tournaments and stuff. Yeah. But might as well bring it up just in case. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, MG bringing it back. He liked it here because he wanted to go home, I guess. Yeah. yeah he, no, he was scared of these hands. Actually, probably not that. I you like you like gives me a lot of trouble too, and I was not playing good today. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's still doing the film like uh, working for film. Where he was doing like 60 hours a week, which he might might still be doing that right now. All right. So oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't even say it. I was thinking Mara is a bit of a lead. <laughs> Ah, uh, commentator's curse. Oh, uh, the mental damage. Before the words. Oh my. All right, but he's got. Oh, never mind. I like. I like. Yes. This is the same thing. Last week I was thinking this. Like Mar was just. He was so close and just like missing the little final touches of stuff. Just a little bit off. Like had the right idea. A yep. little bit out of position. A little bit off timing. And oh, just that grab was so Missing early. key edge guard to punish his thing. Yep. Oh no, jump. Oh, that's good. Yep. Nice. All right. All right, he's on the board. 2-1 for MG, but now we get the counter pick. Where's he taking him? Indeed. He could do MG. He's been taking him Pokemon today. Yeah, but he's already won. True. Yep. Ready? Yoshi. Okay, the Yoshis. Low-key, I think this might be good for Mark. The yeah. man has a sword. It's pretty big. Yeah, he, want, he wants him. Yeah, to run over people. Yep. Oh man, he could have shined. Down B. Uh, oh, but he hit the feet. That is true. I mean, he, I think Juan won on Pokemon. Or on, on Yoshi, sorry. That was game five. Game five? Yeah. I heard there was no pop off from HBox. I can't believe it. It was, uh, it was tense. I mean, you know what? I was there, and I didn't see it either. There were like five people deep rows of people. Uh, I, I, I was standing there watching it off of a guy holding his phone over his head, and I was standing behind the guy with the phone, and I was watching the phone. How did that shine not hit? That's crazy. Yeah, that would yeah. have been insane upset. It would have been. Uh, I mean, I have heard that MG is the future of Melee. Since, yeah, have you heard about that? Xbox says that to everybody. I know. It's Dude. funny. Yep. A Dreamhack Montreal 2019, he let like Sika, he let that get to Sika's head because he's like, you're the best, uh, best person I played at the at the matchup. And like, Fox, uh, Fox. Right. Fox. Well, well, Sika's gonna have to learn the nest the nest matchup before he has. Oh he no! Out of practice. <laughs> Shoutouts, Joey. Dude, the poor guy was getting roasted like that weekend. I think mostly because he dropped out after it was like mainly the reason that people. <laughs> Chirp, on him? Chirping him, yeah. It's just like, dude, you go to one tournament a year, and you're gonna get fucking three one by Joey Bats, and then DQ, dude. You gotta, you gotta hold your head up after that, man. Yeah. It's just like you just went 0-2. What? He could, he could have made a run. I hope to see him at a second tournament this year. Indeed. But oh. yeah, we talked about that being like a two-frame window for to try and do the regrab with the bear from the ledge, and MG missed it and died. 
No, no, no. Sicken needs to go to more than one tournament a year so that he doesn't put all of his eggs in one basket. He just freaks the fuck out because he goes to one tournament. Yeah. Feels bad. It's kind of like the old school days where we had to, like, just... You know, we had our one one chance every, like, half year to, like... Yeah. No, no. Sicka is good. He just needs to get those those bracket miles. Yeah. All right. Under... Oh, my God. Yep. Oh, my... Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Mike. MG, is this oh, going to be oh, it? That's it. Oh, oh, shit. All right. Congrats. MG taking his very first local. One. One pretty, percent. Pretty impressive performance there. Hey? Holy pretty good. Shit. That was sick. That's pretty good. All oh, right. That's so sick. I think that's, uh, that's more.